I'm Kenny M, and this is number one, where I tell you about the first book in a series. Today, I present you with... The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a comedy sci-fi novel created by Douglas Adams in 1979. Described as a trilogy in five parts, it follows the story of Arthur Dent as he finds himself wandering the galaxy after the Earth is destroyed by the alien race called Vogons. The novel was an adaptation of a BBC radio play created by Adams in the late 1970s. The series now consists of six books, beginning with The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Restaurant at the End of the Universe, published in 1980, Life, the Universe of Everything, published in 1982, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, published in 1984, and Mostly Harmless, published in 1992. For the 30th anniversary of the series, Irish author Ian Coulter wrote and published And Another Thing in 2009. There was an okay movie released in 2005. There was also a TV series published in the late to early 80s. Anyone who loves sci-fi and comedy needs to read this book. Even if you don't want to read it, check out the audiobooks. The audiobook was read by Stephen Fry, who was also the voice of the Hitchhiker's Guide in the movie. The rest of the series was read by Martin Freeman, who played Arthur Dent in the movie. He brings his own thing to the characters and the book. So why do I like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Well, it's because it's one of the most imaginative books I have read in a long time. And I grew up on reading every item that Scholastic threw at us 90s kids. I have to admit, it was the OK movie that got me interested in The Hitchhiker's Guide in the first place. I was just so immersed in the production and the puppets and the different worlds and the characters at the first time that I saw it that I didn't even notice the giant plot holes in the unfinished story because they tried to cram like most of the books into it. My favorite character is Marvin, the paranoid android, solely because he gets the best lines in the whole book. We're taking this paranoid android. Oh yeah, we'll take him. Don't feel you have to take any notice of me, please. What are you supposed to do with a manically depressed robot? You think you've got problems? What are you supposed to do if you are a manically depressed robot? No, don't try to answer that. I'm 50,000 times more intelligent than you, and even I don't know the answer. It gives me a headache just trying to think down to your level. You should check this book out, because it's a classic. Like I said before, if you like sci-fi, space, and a manically depressed robot, you should definitely look into it. Don't want to read it? Check out the audiobooks of the original Radio Zero. Don't want to listen to it? Check out the TV series or to a lesser extent the movie. If you won't take my word for it, check out FF Debris' period-aged look at Douglas Adams. Yeah. Oh, another thing. Oh, they had one kick-ass theme. <laughs>